math video introduction to area the secret door hi kids i'm here to make math fun for you join me on this exciting journey through fun galaxy immerse into my captivating world and learn about area of a rectangle while having fun with your buddies triho sirha sirho and square ho I love solving problems with my unique ideas. I love growing plants and helping others. I enjoy both eating and exercising. I enjoy playing, but I get furious if I lose. Dive into the magical world of math by downloading Uncle Math mobile app. Ha ha ha. Uncle Math wants to save the galaxy using his math gadgets. But I will not let him do this. Ha 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 ha! I will take all the gadgets away from him. I am Uncle Bad. I will make everyone sad. Ha 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 ha! Oh no! Uncle Bad and his evil plans. Now he wants to make Uncle Math weak by taking away his superpower, which are his gadgets. Will he be able to win this time? Let us find out. Oh no! What should I do now? I just learned about another evil plan by Uncle Bad. This time, he is planning to take away all the gadgets. Do not worry. We will not let your hard work just get wasted this way. Indeed, Uncle Math has a good team of smart kids. But how will they stop Uncle Bad this time? Idea. Let's hide the gadgets. If the gadgets are hidden, what will Uncle Bad take with him? Hide? Where will you hide them? Uncle Bad knows every corner of Samper Town. He will find them by hook or crook. No, not this time. Let's hide gadgets in such a place that nobody can even guess. But where exactly? Come on, follow me into the math lab. We will hide the gadgets here. Is this a smart idea? Hiding gadgets in the most probable place, the math lab? Be calm, square ho. Let him complete. We will cover the lab door such that it looks like a part of the wall. Great idea! Amazed by the idea, Uncle Matt finally sees a ray of hope. He is relieved that his gadgets will now be safe. Soon, Trio starts explaining how they will execute his plan. Let us cover the door by using exactly similar tiles to the wall here. Once the door is ready, we will keep all the gadgets inside and lock it. The door will be masked with the wall, and Uncle Bad will be unable to spot the door here. But how many tiles will we need? Ha <laughs> ha! No fear when I'm here! To find the total numbers of tiles required to cover the door, we need to find the area of the door. Area? It sounds like an alien word. Area is the total space covered by any 2D shape. Look at the door here. How much space is covered by it? Let's make it simple for you. If I draw a square grid here exactly resembling the tiles, you will easily understand. Uncle Nat has all the tricks to make learning simple for the kids. In no time, he covers the entire door by marking a grid made of squares. Kids, now just count the number of squares on the door. It will tell you the space covered by the door here. Oh yes, one, two, three, four, ah, uh, twenty-four. The door takes up 24 grid squares. Correct. This simply means that the area of our rectangular door is 24. Since we used square grids to measure the area, we wrote it as 24 square unit. Wow! But can we also use rectangles or any other shape to measure the area instead of squares? No, dear. Since a square is equal from all sides, it can cover any shape evenly. So we always use square grids to measure the area. I just got it. To find the area, 
We just need to count the square grids. But do we have any shortcuts to find the area other than counting the square grids? Smart question! Look, our rectangular door is 6 squares tall and 4 squares broad. So, to find the total squares, what can we do? Multiply! Exactly! So, 6 times 4 is 24. Thus, we know that 24 tiles will be needed to cover the door. And we do have a formula for this shortcut. So, we can say that the area of the rectangle is the product of its length and breadth. Wow! This is so simple! Uncle Math and the kids quickly cover the entire door with the tiles and run from there. Uncle Math takes his special gadget to watch Math Lab in his absence. As soon as Uncle Math and the kids leave from there, Uncle Bad attacks Uncle Math's lab with his army and gets happy to see no one there. Ha 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 ha! I think they are not here. It's even simpler for us to take away the gadgets. The gadgets must be somewhere here itself. Search every room and corner of the lab. I want the gadgets by hook or crook. No trace of the gadgets. Ah, fine. Let's go and search for them in other houses. I'm sure he must have hidden them in Samper Town only. Uncle Matt and the kids are watching with a special gadget. They get to know that Uncle Bad and his army have left the Samper Town in frustration. All of them get happy and start jumping out of joy. A bigger challenge, some great critical thinking and area to the rescue. What a day it has been! Discover captivating books from Fun To Do Labs on Amazon Kindle. Hello kids, today we have learned about the area of the rectangle. Let's do a quick recap of the same. Area is the amount of space enclosed by any 2D shape. It is measured in square units like square meters, square centimeters, etc. The area of the rectangle is the product of its length and breadth. Here you can see that the length of the rectangle is 4 centimeters and the breadth is 2 centimeters. So, the area of this rectangle is 4 multiplied by 2, which equals 8 square centimeters. Explore educational math books, videos and kits by fun to do Labs on FunToDoLabs.com and Teachers Pay Teachers. Practice Pouch Question 1 If the area of the currency note shown here is 32 square centimeters and the length of the note is 8 centimeters, Pick the correct breadth of this note. 4 centimeters. Question 2. Select the option that shows the correct area of the shaded part in the given figure. 8 square units. Question 3. Find the area of the rectangle shown here. 12 square centimeters. Question 4. Calculate the area of the chocolate shown here. 24 square units. Question 5. Calculate the area of the tablet shown here. 45 square centimeters. Question 6. If the area of the board shown here is 48 square centimeters and the breadth of the board is 6 centimeters, pick the correct length of this board. 8 centimeters. Make with me. Hello, kids. Are you all set for today's activity? 
Today we will be performing an interesting activity, Pick Me Up, which is based on the concept Area of a Rectangle. Materials required for this activity Rectangle shaped objects, pencil pouch, book, chocolate, etc. Measuring tape, ruler, notepad, and pen. Follow these simple steps to understand more about area of the rectangle. Take any two rectangular objects, like a book and a pencil pouch. Now measure the length of both rectangular objects. Record in the notepad. Measure the breadth of both rectangular objects using a measuring tape or ruler. Record in the notepad. Next, determine the area of these objects by using this formula. Area of the rectangle equals to length multiplied by breadth. Calculating the area of both the objects. Note down the final calculated answer. Don't forget to put the correct units in square centimeters. The length and breadth of the book is 9 centimeters and 7.5 centimeters respectively. Area is equal to 67.5 square centimeters. Length and breadth of the pencil pouch is 10 centimeters and 3 centimeters respectively. Area is equal to 30 square centimeters. Compare the area of both the objects and quickly grab the object having a larger area. Isn't it so simple? No fear when I'm here. Concept we learned. Area of a rectangle. Download the Uncle Math app on your Apple or Android device. Stay tuned for exciting ebooks on the Amazon Kindle. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for fun math stories, activities, and songs. Enjoy learning with Uncle Math.